The year is 2022. I haven't uploaded in almost three months because no reason in particular. And Decker Games has finally blessed us with the heavily anticipated bow rework. Around a year ago, I made a video discussing the problem with bow classes, which I would say to go and watch, but my god, please don't. What? It's just an ordinary crabby. Oh my goodness! Please don't. Here we are a year later, however, and things are starting to get a little interesting. I'm gonna preface this by saying a few things though. I do not give a shit how much damage Tablet Wizard does. It is not a fair comparison, the classes do two completely different things. And on the topic of DPS, I will not be doing that many DPS comparisons in this video unlike the others because it doesn't quite match up to what I plan to talk about. And lastly, I'm going to stray away from talking about the Bard in this video because I have a whole other video coming out about that class very soon. The issue with bow classes before is not that they were awful for DPS, it's that they lacked overall consistency. With the introduction of Predator Bow and Warmonger, the classes were able to match up in DPS quite nicely if it was executed properly. But that being said, it does gratify the point that the classes were rather item reliant. Like I stated in my video back in early 2021, the classes used to be respected back in the earlier years of the game. They offered some very critical utility and great DPS with the Coral Bow and Spectral Armor. But as the game evolved, they lost relevance because of various other items. But as of Exalt Patch 2.3, tiered bows have had a rework which has made them better? Sure. Meta, not so sure. For those who don't know, tiered bows have had a full blown rework. All of them now shoot three shots, double bow no longer exists. <laughs> The two side shots do armor piercing damage for a lower amount, whilst the middle shot does a larger amount of damage and does not armor pierce. It's really interesting for Decker to add armor piercing to a tiered weapon, it's a very creative decision for sure, but how well does it translate into the mid to late game? Here's the short answer, pretty damn good. But there are some layers to it, so let me explain. For casual dungeon grinding and exulting, this change is really good. An issue with tiered bows before is that since they had 3 shots, those shots individually would not do too much damage, but hitting all 3 would grant a substantial amount more damage than just hitting the 1. <laughs> 3 times the amount actually. The rework has made the middle shot do a substantial amount more damage. If you were hitting just the middle shot on a tier 14 pre-rework, the damage would be 70-85 to 85 plus damage modifiers damaging, curse, etc, you know, whatever. Now the middle shot does almost double what it did before, with an average of 150. Okay, so this next part might sound bad, but you're gonna need to give me some time to explain it. The reworked tier 14 bow does less damage than the old version at zero defense, but only slightly. Not factoring in any enemy defenses at all, the pre-reworked tier 14 bow's average damage was 232.5. The new tier 14 bow does 230 damage, which technically meant that the average damage of the old tier 14 was 2.5 higher than the new tier 14. Adding attack multipliers to this just to make it a bit more accurate, if you're running this bow with the Quiver of Thunder, Centaur Shielding and the Exalted God's Horn, you'll be granted a grandiose 22 total attack when the shielding is active, and so that means you will have 97 attack when your stats max. To figure out the true average, we'll have to do a bit of mathematics, which I suck at by the way. From essential surface level research, I was able to confirm that one attack potion is a 2% damage increase. So we're going to start with the average damage of the new tier 14 at zero defense, which would be 230. With 97 attack, that's an 194% damage increase, so from that we do 230 multiplied by 2.44. And why 2.44 do you ask? If we start at 0 attack, your weapon does 0.5 times its average damage, and at 25 attack it's at its average, 50 attack you do 1.5 times the weapon's damage, 75 you do 2 times the weapon's damage, so on and so forth. This would give us an average of 561.2 damage per round of shots on a zero defense target. Old tier 14 bow would be 232.5 multiplied by 2.44 for a total of 567.3. So from this we can 100% conclude that the old tier 14 bow did do a bit more damage at zero defense but was overall far worse due to how hard it fell off, like that, that's, that's a dip and a half. Despite being better on a zero defense target, it was comically bad against pretty much everything else. As we can see at 97 attack, the new tier 14 bow out DPS is the old one at 4 defense which is give or take every single enemy in the entire game. 
The rework decreased the arc width between the shots from 8 to 7, meaning to hit all 3 shots you can now be standing 4.07 tiles away from your target instead of 3.5. Not a substantial difference, but it's definitely better. Now what exactly is the takeaway from this? The rework has made tiered bows theoretically worse in organized groups with consistent armor breaks, however it's been made far better overall. This is an amazing quality of life change and I believe the tiered bow rework was successful. Don't get me wrong, it doesn't justify the fact that Archer is incredibly mediocre and the Huntress is hanging on for dear life, but now in most cases tiered bows are an actual viable option in endgame content such as The Void, Post Celestial 03, and of course the Shatters as they aren't strictly terrible without an armor break anymore, which we know is currently limited to the Knight and the Assassin and both of these items are incredibly hard to get your hands on, never mind. Void Bow has also been given a rather substantial buff too. The rate of fire has been increased by 5% and the damage average has been increased by 12.5. Honestly, I don't really have much else to say about this rework. I believe it was very, very well executed to make the class a smidge more relevant. However, I do believe the Quiver and Trap could use a bit more love to solidify them as great DPS contenders. Do let me know what you think of the rework in the comments and also let me know what other things you want me to talk about. Until next time.